My name is Scott Spatola and I'm the art director for Weapons Fan. My name is Jason Rao and I'm production manager at Weapons Fan. We wanted the two characters to look like they were meant to go together. And we wanted it kind of to look like a choreographed scene. Dan, his attention to detail and his love of these games really shows through. We knew from the outset what the project had to be. It was the slipcover and then the steelbook and then also the interior of the steelbook, which is like a modified version of the uh, steelbook exterior. We wanted to make sure that these characters were represented to just every aspect. Yeah, when we first started looking at this project and really analyzing it, we started looking at just the basics, like what is a piece of key art? Like what's its purpose to portray a, a story in one single image? In this case, you have known characters, known games that already exist, and it's really about paying homage to the fans. A lot of these factors sort of like uh, inform the final result without too much exterior influence. It was more like, this is how these parts fit together. It was really kind of came together naturally after we decided that part. Some of the roughs that we had, Dan would have one of the charms on her gun and he put one of these charms and we got feedback from Platinum Games that, oh, that's sorry, right, that charm actually goes on the left gun. They were providing us details that I don't think I would have ever noticed otherwise. Like the, the bottom of Bayonetta's shoe has, is embossed with a symbol. We even noticed when we were looking at some of the reference art, you know, that Bayonetta will hold her pinky up in a certain way. I love that kind of thing. It's really, really interesting. First, first thing to know though, is her costume is made out of her own hair. So her hair is like this giant cone on top of her head that goes down to her shoulders. And then that goes down almost like a, like a cape. That, that's all her hair. But all of these have these tiny little cinches all over the place, like little belts that have little like moon designs on them. She has ribbons coming out of her hair that have her name on, written on them over and over again in like, a, in like an alternate language. She has four guns and all of them have the manufacturer's mark on them. They have a label stating which herb the gun is based on with a charm that matches that herb with a crystal on it that's color-coded per arm. She has like this brooch on her chest that's not anywhere else on her body. Her glasses have these individual little designs on the side. All these little tiny things that are very specific and if they were flipped or if they were on the wrong arm she would actually be drawn incorrectly so I had to get all these things right. When we originally started the scene with Vanquish we tried different poses and in some early iterations, we had Sam sliding in on his knees. He has like these like uh, like hip thruster booster things uh, for his augmented reaction suit. I know that um, Sam uh, used to be a football player. Yeah, I tried to just mimic some kind of action where like it looks like he's about to, he's like sticking and then moving like a pivot. We knew that we wanted to kind of make him look like he was sticking a move and then being able to move downfield. And in this case, it was a field of enemies. Working on the, the Vanquish image, drawing Sam was really pretty difficult. He has all these really neat little weird details that wrap around his head and wrap around like the side of his head. They're just getting all those little parts to look like they actually would move. And he doesn't look like he's, you know, like a crumpled up tin can or something like that. Like his, his gun even has all these parts that are supposed to transform. The gun is supposed to come apart and then you know, recombine into a different configuration. Well, we knew that the games were different, but they still shared some commonality that we wanted to highlight. Bayonetta is um, based on the, the moon and her like sect of witches, these like Umbra witches. In uh, Vanquish's case, we used the earth. They kind of like naturally um, fit together as a kind of opposing, uh, opposing but also complementary forces that go together. We thought those two celestial objects would um, would balance each other really well. They sort of naturally fit together. I love that the art works as a solo piece for each of the characters, but then also they fit together on the combo cover. And I think the, the overall image seeing them together on the steelbook is like really nice. It's a really uh, nice thing to see something you made get produced. Station.